Today, the Butte County Board of Supervisors made Public Health's bird flu emergency declaration official. Action News Network reporter Ryan Ketchum is live in Chico. Ryan, what does this declaration and the threat mean for our community? It means that Butte County is prepared for any aviation flu outbreaks. Haley, Butte County Public Health did tell me, though, that outside of those 1,500 infected birds, there are no other birds that have tested positive for the avian flu here in the county as of right now. But some bird owners here in Chico are still worried. There's always that fear when you've got that large a number. That's when you're looking at livestock, that's that's a huge quantity to be losing whether it's egg production or whether it's broilers. These baby chicks did not test positive and several feed stores through Chico are still selling them. Wilbur's Feed and Seed sold all its baby chicks, but says every year brings the threat of bird flu. No, because when we get baby chicks every season, it's, it's a new flu season every year. So whether or not they're coming from our state or whether they're coming from Texas or whether they're coming from New Mexico or even clear back to Ohio. They've had outbreaks in other states, so we just have to pay attention and order accordingly. Biosciences professor here at Chico State Troy Klein says avian flu gets passed by bird feces and doesn't easily spread to people. But those infections are rare, it requires close contact, so much of the general public um, all of the general public is, is at extraordinarily low risk during this outbreak. Kurt Askey of Wilbur's Feed and Seed says farmers should be careful right now, though, to make sure they're not causing any spread. Keep your biosecurities in place. Don't be going to everybody else's farms and, and wandering through their place and then immediately coming back and tracking that manure, possibly back into your own coop. You don't know what you're going to bring over. The avian flu is in more places than just Butte County, though. The CDC says that there have been positive tests in 45 states across the nation, and there's been more than 40 million poultry affected. Reporting live in Chico, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now coverage you can count on. Thanks, Ryan. Klein tells Action News Now the 2015 outbreak was the first time in history that wild birds had a highly pathogenic avian flu in North America.